Okay, welcome to the Kidwind 2.0 help video. This is gonna be a two-part uh, video for Kidwind. I'm gonna speak, this video is more about uh, the design challenge, an overview of the interface, and also the turbine building tutorial part. And then the, the other video that I'm gonna do that's connected to this is more about the map and, and the wind farm placement, like where you're gonna put your turbines on the wind farm because that is that can be very confusing and so I'm just gonna break this up into two parts okay so let's go to uh, engineering and the essentially your your goal is you need to build a wind turbine okay that's this part and you need to build a, um, a wind farm on this particular map there's actually multiple maps but we'll just focus on this one right now um, you need to build a wind farm that can generate a certain level of energy go to outputs design specs we should see that our minimum energy level is hundred and fifty kilowatts per hour so we that's what we need to uh, that that's what our wind farm needs to generate in order to uh, meet our minimum requirement but we also need to keep in um, consideration the total cost okay and right now it looks like there's no spec set up for that but there will be a total cost spec um, and especially when you're doing the competition you know some you might wonder why some people are ranked higher than you it has to do with the fact that they've met their minimum requirement and they have a really low cost so your goal is to have the lowest cost like if I was to hire somebody to build me a wind farm and they were you know I told them I needed 150 kilowatts an hour but you know somebody built something for six million dollars and someone else built one for four million I'm gonna go with the the guy that with four million okay so the point of that is you need to keep your cost down in order to do better in the competition so if we go back to engineering uh, let's just focus only on turbine design and then the next video will be turbine sighting so uh, if you open up the eyeball you can see your blade profile what does my blade look like now you can you can have as many blades uh, I think up to I, I forgot the total number of blades um, let's go to blade assembly and find out you can have up to eight blades if you want okay so Going back to blade profile, this is where you're designing your, your blade, okay? There's actually, you should have read about the best type of design. You can also turn it into a, a complex design. You have to hit apply. And you have now these curved shapes that you can use, which is kind of neat as well, okay? So um, based on the research that you've done, you should know what kind of blade, what your blade profile should look like, okay? So I'm just going to reset that and set it back to, to its default. And then also with blade pit, uh, pitch and twist, you can adjust the pitch and twist at which your blade is right here. Okay. Research. It's definitely in here about blade pitch. Okay. So you would want to go to here. Um, this is actually a pretty cool section here. It talks about the different degrees. Okay and the impact that it's having what is the effect i have a you know blade pitch between five to ten degrees what's happening what's the effect blade pitch at 25 degrees what's happening what's the effect okay so if you're if you kind of sped through the research go back into this area blade pitch and to figure out what you should set these at okay and then you've got sorry um you've got your blade model this is just um what it looks like okay this is just one blade right now and change the color of it it's pretty much all you can do in this section um, blade assembly this is when you can change the number of blades you can do eight okay you can do um, two you can do as many as you want and I would also refer back to the reading probably to figure out what you think might be the best okay I'm gonna hit reset and done the nacelle is going to be your basically your housing. Um, so you, when you guys build these in class, you're going to have the option of um, switching out different gears and stuff. So you can change the gear ratio here. 
and you can um, experiment with that to figure out what you think might be the best gear ratio. It's probably also going to be here in the research, I'm guaranteeing that. Um, anyway, so let's reset, done. And then your tower, that's just a visual of, of like uh, the base of the tower. Okay, so those are essentially how to uh, maneuver through these parts. It's it, This is, you know, this is pretty simple compared to some of the stuff we've done in the past. It starts getting very confusing when we move over to the um, turbine siding section. Okay, there's a lot going on here and that's why I'm going to make a separate video for that. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one and then I will start over and we're actually, we are going to walk through this help section. You can do it on your own and not watch my video. That's fine. Um, but I, some people, some people find it easier if, if they're just watching a video or listening to me kind of walk through it. So whatever helps you best, if you want to read through it, go do that. If not, then click on the next video. All right.